Hey. We bought a calf on here for a 4-H. Huh? We bought a calf for 4-H, kid. Huh? You got anything wrong with that? Absolutely. Well, I wouldn't want to be that calf, I suppose. Why is that? It's going to a good home. The kids are going to pet it. It's be the same as a dog or cat. And Except I've been farming all my life, and we've never, never had any trouble with cattle. Yeah, I mean, you treat, you're, them. You treat them a lot them. better than a lot of them, probably. We've them all the time and done everything imaginable. Right. Yet, we still have to come here to market them. Right. You far as ain't seeing the whole picture. No, we... Well, what do you do when he's, when he's all grown up? You sell them you, for meat, right? You have to. Because, have to? listen, it's a livelihood. There's no way right. that we can leave calves on cows like you think we can. And... and but the slave pay for all the land and pay for the machinery. Then stop breeding them. Stop well, breeding then what are you going to do? What Be unemployed? Grow vegetables. Grow vegetables. No, you find other things like the slave what owners. Other things that you can do grow vegetables. Well, what, about, what about people on welfare? What does that have to do what with What about the dogs and cats? What the people with all the dogs and cats yeah. that well, mistreat them. Too. What happened to all the slave owners back in the 1800s when well, they stopped? Well, we're not worried about it. We get over that. But they the found another way. They, they found another way to make a living, though, right? They killed livestock to eat. Right. That's all they do. They eat those But I mean, the slave owners that had plantations. It wrong. No. And if you want, you come to my farm anytime, and you'll see. Where's it at? Down in, in Brooklyn, in Hans County. Oh, I know. I, I spent a couple years at the Agricultural College. I, you know, I know I what, did too. how things. I went through that. Right. And what you fellas are saying about people keeping cattle and not breeding them, what are you going to do with all that land? That land is not suitable to grow groceries on, uh, vegetables on. I don't know. I'm it's not sure. It's too hilly, too rough, and stuff like that. It's marginal land. I know. That's you one of the best arguments the in favor of. You do but, not see it. But still, you're. You're enslaving somebody who doesn't want to die for your meal, right? You treat your you genetically manipulate no, you selective them just like kids. You're selectively breeding them into these things that Mother Nature no, wouldn't we're make. Not. We're like a cow with that. a cow with a huge udder, Mother Nature would never create something like that, right? I don't have any huge udder, so I have beef cattle. <laughs> right. What about women? But Go they, ahead, Sarah. What about women with big breast and little breast? I wasn't that way. What? <laughs> you fathers are you see, I'm yeah. absolutely unreal. You know what? Would you, I would am you? a mother, and I breastfed, and I would be horrified if somebody came in and took my baby from me because they didn't like No, no, they just want to. If they wouldn't want to, that's not the point. Bye. Never mind. <laughs> Those people can't be reached. Those people. I'm so angry. I can't. Yeah. Those people are so far-fetched.